วัสดีค่ะ Very good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World tonight. สวัสดีค่ะ Good evening as well and TGIF. Hope you have had a great week so far. And kicking off the program tonight with some good news as the test and go scheme, as well as the required RT-PCR test upon arrival, will be scrapped from May 1st. So the CCSA decision today is to simplify entry to Thailand as the country prepares for more easing of restrictions in line with the COVID-19 situation. But the self-administered rapid antigen or ATK COVID test are recommended during uh, this day, so it can be any time after arrival. The Thailand Pass system will, however, remain in place, in which vaccinated travelers are required to present their vaccination proofs and insurance policies. Arrivals who are not fully vaccinated, uh, which is a minimum of two doses, must still enter quarantine for five days. And if, however, they can prove that they were tested a negative by RT-PCR, conducted no more than 72 hours prior to departure, they may be exempted from quarantine, according to CCSA spokesperson Dr. Tuisin Wisinu Yotin. Well, uh, it's still not very clear cut, so there's still no explanation of the conditions for such exemption uh, to be provided. But of course, we'll uh, give you more updates as soon as they are. But this is what uh, the government, the CCSA, has been uh, saying just now today. And uh, also another piece of good news is that the uh, travel insurance, the minimum of it, uh, minimum coverage has been reduced from 20,000 US dollars to $10,000. So just to explain uh, what test and go is, basically fully vaccinated travelers are required to undergo RT-PCR test upon arrival and then uh, get isolated in a government approved hotel for a night until uh, you know the negative results are out. Basically this uh, program is dubbed um, quarantine exempt one, but actually there's a little bit of quarantine involved, um, especially uh, on the first night. And uh, But if they test negative, they can still leave and actually travel around the country and uh, require to self-administer an ATK on the fifth day. And to give you more of the CCSA decisions today, to further ease uh, certain COVID restrictions. The uh, restaurants that have received CHAR Plus certification, Thai Stop COVID-2 Plus standard, and the so-called sandbox and high surveillance provinces, which now actually cover the entire country to serve alcohol uh, to customers until midnight instead of 11 p.m. And uh, CCSA has adjusted the uh, COVID zoning of the country also affected from May 1st, which reduced the number of promises in the control zone from 20 to none and increased promises in the high surveillance or yellow zone from 47 to 65. So basically, the entire country is uh, now uh, with not much uh, restrictions being imposed at the, uh, especially from May 1st onwards with the rezoning, Kunad, because basically it's only only going to be the uh, sandbox uh, tourist provinces and the high surveillance zone, which is uh, most of the country. Well, it is definitely good news to hear that they will be scrapping the test and go and the RT-PCR test on arrival, and that will help encourage international travelers to come to Thailand as well. And still on the issue related to the COVID-19 situation, there are still some groups of people who haven't been vaccinated against COVID-19 yet. So there has been a plan that the unvaccinated people will receive a protein subunit vaccine. And the good news is that Thailand has already received the first delivery of the Covavax protein subunit vaccine earlier this week. According to the di Director General of the Disease Control Department, Dr. Opad Gan Gawin Pong, Covavax protein subunit vaccine will be administered to some unvaccinated people as well as those who are allergic to other vaccines as Thailand took delivery of the first 200,000 doses of the vaccine from the Quad countries or the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue countries. 
Public Health Minister Anutin Chaiwirakun presided over a ceremony to take delivery of the vaccine in the company of senior health officials and ambassadors of the Quad countries, which include Australia, India, Japan, and the United States. The vaccine arrived in Thailand on Monday, and samples have already been sent to the Medical Sciences Department for examination before they are distributed for use. Dr. Opat said that since the protein subunit vaccines have not been widely used so far, they will be administered to unvaccinated people or those who are allergic to the other vaccines based on medical advice from their doctor and strictly in accordance with the advice on the label, which advocates two doses three weeks apart. He said that the vaccine will not be used as a booster shot yet, as it is pending further study. Protein subunits are a type of vaccine which contains harmless and purified pieces of the virus, which have been specifically selected for their ability to trigger immunity. This type of vaccine is already used for other diseases and it is considered safe. So we can see that it has been advised that those who are unvaccinated or allergic to other vaccines mm -hmm. can use the Covavax vaccine. Right. And it is also good news that the Covavax vaccine has already arrived in Thailand. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt, you know, to have a variety of vaccines in the country available because, uh, you know, each can complement each other. And especially this comes in handy when uh, some people are allergic to certain types of vaccines as well. So, uh, of course, the more the better and also the, the ones uh, that should also be of high quality. Exactly. And we're supposed to have a variety of vaccines so that people can choose what actually fits.